all right so welcome back to lewis only farms and um today we're giving you another update on our veggies all right so see what this boy is doing he's eating the leaves uh he got away he got oh oh my no you can't be allowed to live uh. Uh. Mm, all right I think we got him. No, sir. Missed. I know we don't know where he is. All right, but that's one of the things that we have to be mindful of. His pack choice are looking lovely. Can be harvested now. I uh, would have to check, but I don't think they're at six weeks as yet, but they can be harvested now. All right, as it is now, there's no water in the pipes. Wow. Look at this boy, these boys go. Yeah, it's lovely. That's how we like to see them. This plant is just coming. And there goes one of our bee, one of our busy girls. She is doing her job. And she will move from one um, flower to the next pollinating our plants there are a couple of plants here that I'm not so sure what is happening with them not a lot though but the fruits look a bit weird this sweet pepper the, the, the fruit is not supposed to look that pale it's supposed to have a sheen like this one and um both peppers on the same tree so not so sure what is happening there we'll have to do a little research this is our first girl that came out looking healthy sounds solid and very thick and so the sweet peppers are not looking bad lettuce we got an order this morning and we're filling that order so Not too bad on the farm. This is a new set of sweet peppers that we are putting in now. New set. These were just planted this morning. And today is the 28th of March 2024. Look at this. It's a Kalalu. Just let us grow in the field all over. They just grow and then this is the second crop that we planted um, since we restarted the farming on this plot and um, they're not looking bad at all so we didn't have a, enough um, cabbage seeds or seedlings and so we had to put in a row of pak choy because we had that we had a lot of pak choy suckers and we didn't want to destroy them. We had sown these in our beds. And now we can actually eat pak choy with a lot to spare. Our sorrels, they are looking lovely. They are budding now. Ready to give us fruit. Alright, so the cabbages really need some more water. But they are not looking bad at all. I think we are running a risk here though. We have only sprayed these cabbages once. Probably once since we have planted them. Wow. Just look at that. Look at the size of the leaves. Look at the size of the leaves. That's larger than my hand. And the beauty is that the trunk is not very thick. And so there's a lot of food on it. Beautiful. Our pineapples also are looking well. Yeah, there you go. That's where we are putting in our broccolis. Not so sure what is happening with them, but they're not so they're not so fancy at all. Something seems to have burnt them. 
Wow. This sorrel is white. Can you see the bud? It's white. <laughs> That's kind of strange because this variety should be red. Like that. Yeah. And so we're just making a walk through here, through the pack choice. Here, seeing this section, it was a cool kill before, a couple of years ago. And uh, I'm not so sure what is happening, but it keeps burning the plant. So I guess it has too much potash that is burning the plants. This is a little melon vine that just grew. Where it seems to be suffering from mite. So, yeah, definitely. But we didn't plant it, so we're not going to mix. Um a whole panamite side just for one watermelon as a matter of fact it is a weed where it is now as it is not a crop but if but the cabbages are looking good they are spreading spreading nicely inner leaves are fresh and nice <laughs> 